Well, hello everybody. It is February 10th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. This video is just to show everybody who's coming up this weekend how much snow we have remaining. And then I will talk about what we've got coming up in terms of snowfall. Um, yeah, I'm excited to do this for you guys. I've been receiving a lot of questions about how much snow we're going to have coming up this weekend. So let's see. We are right now gonna do a drive around the lake but we're gonna go the opposite direction that we then we usually do so you guys can can get the sense of once we get over by the dam of what it's like coming in the way that most of you will be coming in so right now you can see there's just hardly anything over here we're not gonna go to the end of Big Bear City to where Baldwin is we're actually gonna stay on the Big Bear Lake side and then obviously towards the end of the video do our our little village tour but uh, yeah, there's hardly any snow. Um, and we were supposed to possibly get a little bit this Sunday, the 12th, but that is not looking like it's gonna pan out at all. Um, we could get a, a couple raindrops. Best case scenario, a couple little raindrops, that's it. Other than that, nothing, nothing, nothing going guys, nothing going. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. If you guys like what I do, please like and subscribe. I work very hard, I love, but I love doing this, so either way, I'm just grateful to have you guys here. I'm grateful to be able to give out information the way that I give out information. It might be really helpful for some, might not be for others, but I really do the best I can to try to help everybody. That's what I do. That's what I do when it comes to YouTube. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to think of a question that was asked to me to give the answer to, and I can't for the life of me remember what the question was. But yes. Yeah, guys, there's nothing. I mean, there is nothing. Look at look at the sides of the road. Look at everything. There's just nothing. But that doesn't mean that the resorts will not have any. Keep in mind, our ski resorts at nighttime, or when the temperatures are freezing, they are, they are making snow for you guys. So even though we haven't received any snow in a while, I'll, I'll tell you right now, the snow conditions are always going to be pretty good skiing especially if you're one of the first ones out there and hitting the slopes uh first be before everybody else because uh you'll have the nicely groomed slopes plus the fresh little bit of snow from the from the snow machines so don't let this emptiness oh my gosh guys there's nothing i mean there's nothing but when we get over to the big bear dam the snowiest part of town when it comes to the valley I think you guys will be a little happier to see more snow. So if you don't want to watch this whole video, just uh, fast forward about 15 or so minutes till we get over to that side. So right now we're gonna turn left on, it says Starvation Flats here, but we're actually, when you make a left, it's Stanfield Cutoff. So we're turning left on Stanfield Cutoff. Here we go, making our left turn on the cutoff of Stanfield. Here's our beautiful lake. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Just real quick over here to the right, that's where Baldwin is over there. That's a beautiful, beautiful view as well. But this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. Okay, so let's do this, y'all, let's do this. Once again, hello everyone. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day today. It's a gorgeous day up here. It says 40 degrees, but it's definitely warmer than that. Definitely warmer than that. Today's supposed to be the warmest day of the month. We're supposed to hit about 55 degrees up here. 
but then this next week we're supposed to get a couple really cold days we could actually get one of the coldest nights that we've had all season on either Tuesday or I think it's Monday Tuesday or Wednesday night we could be in the single digits so that'll be nice for y'all Oh, this is awesome. Sad to see no snow, but this is awesome. This is what happens up here, you guys. This is what happens. But as I said, if you look at the ski resort on the mountain over there, you can see there's a lot of snow up there. They make a ton of snow. And once again, they do a terrific job. The snow making guys are there. They make it fun for, for, for everybody up here. They're really terrific at what they do. And it really is quite a science. They can change the consistency of, of the snow. They can make it a more wet snow. They can make it a more of a champagne powder. Because um, the wet snow is, I, I believe what they need first to actually make it uh, um, so the other snow will actually stick to it. So they'll, they'll make the base layer with like a much more wet snow. Pull down this window for a moment. Get a better view like that. All right. So the further we go this direction, the more snow we should. And the key word is should. And I've been told, don't should on yourself. <laughs> but this is we should get more snow going this this direction I'm gonna turn on the max AC in this car because look you, you just saw the the temperature it just hit 40 just a couple minutes ago but the car is still kind of warming up so we are at a much warmer look at that 49 now it'll hit 50 in just just a second watch this watch this at least it should in the meantime while we're waiting I mean, I didn't think it would even take that long. But yeah, we're supposed to be in the mid-50s today. For those of you who don't know, we are at 6,750 feet, about right about where, where we're at right now. We're probably at about 6,775 feet right here. And uh, we are entering technically Fawn Skin. You can see the sign right here, Fawn Skin. You know what I'm thinking we will do? If I remember how to get up to the to the very top, maybe take a little jot through uh, some of the Fonskin, upper Fonskin streets to maybe get a nice view of the lake from that perspective. It's super gorgeous. These homes here to the left or right on the lake. Gosh bless you guys. Man, that'd be so nice to have a house right there. Anyway, yeah. Okay, look, sorry. It just blew blew past 50 right there. We're at 53 now. As I said, it's really hard to keep snow around with these types of temperatures. And the further we go in terms of the season ending the more of an angle, a better angle the sun has shining down on us to uh, melt the snow faster. Look at this view right here. Just incredible. We are very lucky to live here. We are so lucky to live here. Once again, it's because of all of you who create the jobs. It's you guys who come up here and spend money. You guys create the jobs for us to have the opportunity to live here. So thank you so much. I can't even say thank you enough. Because it's huge what you guys do for us. Oh, it's so gorgeous. San Gorgonio in the background is just loaded with snow up there.
All right, guys, so we're gonna turn right. I think we're gonna turn right here on Canyon and then go up to the top. That's what we're gonna do. And I'm hoping that we will get some decent views. We haven't done this detour in a long time, guys. So I'm excited. It's been so long, I forget which streets to take to get up to the very top up here. And hopefully when we get up to the top, I can find some decent views for y'all. Yeah, let me get that max AC on, there we go. There we go. So we're gonna take this road up here to the right. Obviously the higher in elevation we get, we will see a little more snow. Okay, maybe I screwed up here. This is not a through street. Of course I screwed up, right? Yeah, pavement ends. Yeah, I totally screwed up. So we're going to turn it. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit closer. Never go around. Okay, hang on a second. I'm gonna go through this dirt real quickly. My car is filthy, so that's okay. Let me, uh, oh my gosh, how am I gonna turn? You know what, we're just gonna back up. Forget it. We're just gonna back up. If we don't go off the edge, that might not be fun. Or hit any of these rocks on the side. Just bear with me, guys. I feel like such a moron for doing this, but oh shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I can't believe how much of it. Oh, wow. We're really close to that huge rock. That would have not been fun for my car. I'll take a look over here. I just need to not be in a hurry while doing this. I'm always in a hurry, and it can get me in big trouble. Okay, here we go. Let's back up a little bit more here. I don't know how we're gonna... I might, I might have to go freaking way back here to back up. But that's okay. It's almost like you guys are watching the video in Rewind right now, so... Yeah, buddy. This is embarrassing, I'll tell you that. For people out here watching, like, what is this guy doing? All right, let's see here. We're gonna cut across here to the left. Hey, we made it all the way down from there. I think this is a way up. We shall see, right guys? Or maybe not. Or maybe, maybe, maybe. Anyway, once again, it's February 10th, 2023. Happy early Valentine's Day to all of you. I'm grateful that I'll be, get, be able to do a video on Valentine's Day for you guys, because we're supposed to get some snow. It's not gonna be much, but it's gonna be some snow. Okay, we're starting to get some of the views over here. Temperature is 54 to, oh wow, look at that. Man, these homes have such beautiful views up here. It really is a different, incredible perspective up here. I think we want to go right here. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, we want to go right here. Look at that. That is beautiful. All right, let's go up to the top. I'm pretty sure this is the way. Well, we get a bunch of snow in town. This is not an easy road to travel. 
just to give you guys a heads up on that not an easy road to travel okay I think we want to turn right on Cole Miller I think that's the name of the street Klein Miller yes this is one of my good friends Dr. Orr who's the doctor up here I used to come hang out at his house a lot up here one of the nicest guys ever. This is not a, as I said, this is not fun when there's snow and ice everywhere. So I'm glad we're easily making this. Look at, look at that. Let me just roll down the window a little bit so you guys can, can really see just the beauty. And I think, oh my gosh, San Gorgonio looks insane through there. Let's get up here to the top. So we are in Fonskin, you guys. We are in the hills of Fonskin. Okay, we're gonna turn right on Ridge Road. I'm just driving like I'm going to my friend Jeff Orr's house from the past. He moved from that house, so he's not up here anymore, but. So therefore, I can show you the house on Piney Ridge right here. And we're at the very top when it comes to... So his house was to the left here. You would take this driveway to the left. But yeah, we're way up here. Hopefully the drive down will be a lot prettier. Look at how much more snow is up here, you guys. Isn't this crazy? We climbed quite a bit and it's 55 degrees. Man, we might hit 60 in town today. That would be amazing. So let's just stay on Piney Ridge here. I'm telling you guys, that view over there, I really hope I can get a different view of the lake from up here like that. I forgot how spectacular this is. There we go. There's no one behind me. Look at that. Oh my gosh, guys. So yeah, a lot of you have been sending me messages asking me how much snow there is in town. And are you going, and are we gonna be getting any snow soon? And as I said, we had a little tiny chance for snow on uh, Tuesday, or yeah, uh, no, on Sunday, but it doesn't look like that's gonna pan out. Not at all. That was nice. Usually don't get too many friendlies like that, waving at you when you drive by. Usually it's dirty looks, so that, that felt nice. I think we're gonna make a U-turn and then go down Bruin Trail. It has a lot more snow up here, folks. I'll be passing those people again. Hopefully they don't think there's anything nefarious going on. When my car is clean, it doesn't look like there's anything wrong. When my car is brown and it's supposed to be blue, I've got a brown car. It's a brown car. Look at this cute place. What a cute yard. Look at that. Okay, so once we pass these folks right here, we're going to be kind of staying straight or making a little bit of a right-hand turn. And I'm super happy about that because the view straight ahead, look at that. That's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking for right there. Is this the right, is this a road right here? Oh my gosh, I can't even see if this is a road or not. Yeah, cool. Scary. I couldn't see the road. I didn't know if I was going off the edge of the cliff or not. 
now my car just told me to keep my eyes on the road. That's what I'm trying to do, car. Take it easy, okay? A little peekaboo view of the lake right there in San Gregorio. Wow. Look at this cute house right here. It's a big one. Okay, here we go. Uh, we want to go down. We're gonna go down this way. No, we're not. We're gonna go down this way. Hopefully you guys can see through these houses. They got some big, beautiful houses up here, you guys. And this is a really quiet part of town, of the valley. Wow, it's just the view is just incredible. My friend Jeff, his old house up, up, up there was just the most insane view you could imagine. I mean, insane. He had a huge patio. It was just something to behold. Hey, look at this. This is gonna be nice right here. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can really see, but let me, oops, there's a car right behind us now. So we got to go. Now we're back down at the bottom. back on the drive so we just got a couple little views of the lake and the mountains from fawn skin from upper fawn skin it's been over a year since we've been up there and as i said the further you go this direction we're back on big bear Boulevard. well it's not big bear boulevard it's, it's highway 38 north shore we're actually about to go through downtown fawn skin right now Out of downtown Fonskin, we are making our journey to the dam and then back into town through the village. But yeah, there's a lot more snow over here. From where we began the drive, you can tell that there's hardly any snow. This is the eagle habitat as well, you guys. Beautiful. Around this corner, I'm gonna put my hand out the window. guys have any questions about anything never hesitate to ask me i'm always here for you guys to answer your questions the best of my ability and don't forget if you enjoy the effort and work that i put into this please hit like and subscribe it'll help me out in the long run big time wow look at this right on the lake guys we're driving right on the lake
so beautiful. It's just so clear today. It is so gorgeous, guys. This is incredible. Temperature is still 55 degrees. Right on the lake, man. Right on the lake. coming up to the Big Bear Dam and I want you guys to take notice to the amount of snow over in this region as we're driving into Big Bear compared to when we get over by the village it's gonna be shocking you guys it's gonna be shocking This mountain straight ahead, that is, whatchamacallit, that is Snow Valley Ski Resort. Let's see, Snow Valley right there. Now that CHP officer was in a hurry. stop the video and turn it on once it turns green. All right, here we go. Highway 18 right there, going back down the mountain. And here's, this is the drive coming into town for you guys. So you guys can see when you get in here, it, you'll, you'll start seeing snow for sure. But it's not gonna be anything too special. Too special. It is beautiful though. I mean, it, it actually it is special. This is this is beautiful. And February is the snowiest month, according to the records and all the data that have uh, long been kept for this area. But since I've lived here, February has not been that snowy at all. January has been the best month since I've lived here. As I said, keep your eyes open to see how much snow we got over here. And then once we uh, start getting further into Big Bear Lake towards Big Bear City, you'll be uh, shocked that there's not much left. It looks gorgeous over here. It really does. I really hope we get a lot more snow this season because I love doing these videos for you guys. But I'm gonna figure out different content 
to keep this channel going for you guys over the summertime. We had a good monsoon season last season, so I got to do a lot of videos because of that. But that was awesome. And right here is called Castle Rock Trail. It's one of the most famous trails in Big Bear. It's right here. And it takes you all the way up to the top up there, to the very top. And the views of the lake are pretty, pretty amazing. I've seen pictures. I've never been up there because I'm too lazy. It's about, I think they say it's about a mile and a half round trip to get up to the top and then come back. coming up to Boulder Bay. I'm gonna keep my hand out the window for Boulder Bay for you guys. Here we go. Alright guys, the snow is going to start depleting quickly from here. drive-in theater right here but it's not a drive-in anymore sadly it hasn't even been a drive-in since I've lived up here Snow is falling off here, guys. Let's see what this thermometer says here. Oh, we didn't get to it on time. Or we got to it too quickly, actually. The roads couldn't be in better condition, guys. The roads are perfect. Once you get into town though, some, some of the neighborhoods, especially the streets that don't get much direct sunlight, still might have some fairly severe impact, but I think you'll, you guys will be fine. When it comes to getting up here, it's gonna be no problem, you guys, no problem. And we're coming up to one of the paid sledding areas. The Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. There you go. You pay to play there. I just did a video for you guys to show you guys a few free areas to go sledding. Okay, we're coming into the village. We are 
coming into the village, man. We have entered the village, folks. All right, we're going to take the whole village tour. It's just we're done with half of it already. And then because Snow Summit is really difficult to get into um, during this the day, we're going to drive by Bear just so you can uh, see how much snow is going on there. And let me, my wife just texted me. Can you leave in about 20 minutes, baby? Well, come back. <laughs> what a cute play on words. Here's my post office right here. Yeah, you can see we're back on Big Bear Boulevard, you guys. Can you meet me at the roundabout in five minutes? I'm still making the video. Thank you, baby. So my wife's going down the mountain right now and she wanted to stop somewhere so I could give her a kiss before she goes, so we're gonna do that. I love that lady so much. She is so good to me. And then you guys can get your fill, your fix of Rachel today, which makes me happy. Thank you guys for being so sweet to her. You guys have been so sweet to her. It makes me so happy. I appreciate the love, you guys. You guys give us so much love. I appreciate that so much. It feels so good. I feel so good because you guys are in my life. I, you guys are everything in my life. You guys are everything to me. Thank you. So we do have a little bit of traffic on the boulevard. It's not much. It is Friday. So 
that's why, but it's not nearly as bad as it has been the, all the other Fridays since the season began. So that's good. At least you guys will know that you're not going to have much issue up here when it comes to the traffic. And once again, the roads are in great shape. Obviously, we have a lot of potholes. So you're going to want to avoid this lane to the right as often as possible. But yeah, look at hardly any snow, guys. This is this is crazy. The video. Coming up to Moon Ridge, folks. That's what we're going to be turning down. We're going to be turning down Moon Ridge. To head to drive by Bear Mountain, just so you guys can just get an outside look at how many people are there and just kind of what the snow looks like. One of my favorite hotels in Big Bear, the Best Western. On one of my playlists, the Best Western is, I've recorded a couple videos there. At the roundabout, I think I see her car. Wow, she got, oh, she's so freaking sweet. I love her so much. Okay, there, there she is. Right in front of us here. Hey, baby. I love my baby so much. Okay, babe, you gotta be a little smarter than that. I can't pull in here. Oh my God, she's crazy. <laughs> babe, you pull into a spot that I can't park in. Oh, I'm sorry. I love you, babe. <laughs> We're recording right now, by the way. <laughs> Hello, everybody. She's going down the mountain, so let's wish her safe travels. I'm so excited. She's I'm actually soaking some of the sun. She's going to be doing a. Uh, she's one of her errands. She's going to be running is getting her name changed finally into my last name because she took my last name in marriage like a normal person does. <laughs> right, baby. <laughs> yep. I love you. All right. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, drive safely, okay? Yeah. Let me know as soon as you get down to the bottom. I will. Please. Alright, baby. Love you. you. Alright, guys. So let me back that thing up. I gotta back that thing up. See you guys. Bye. Have fun. Thanks. Okay. Bye. As soon as you get down, text me. Okay. Okay, baby. All right. We are out of here. That is her cousin that was with her. I think I told you guys that her cousin or her, her other cousin, Mark, owns the Domino's up here. And it's the it's either the, the busiest or the second busiest dominoes in the whole country. 
And funny enough, Mammoth Lakes is the other one that's just as busy. Okay, these people right here, the fire trucks and ambulances are going to the resort. Because someone got hurt. Watch, you'll see, we'll be following them the whole way. When I worked at Bear Mountain, this was all day. You would hear the ambulances constantly coming down, constantly. I'm telling you guys, so many broken bones, it's, 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 it's horrible. Yep, that's where they're going. Going to Bear. We are on Club View now with an escort from the fire department. I hope everyone's okay. I hope no one got seriously injured. It is place where people get injured you know it's all part of it we just always wish that that no one gets seriously injured here's the golf course looks beautiful as ever I think I'm gonna do a slow-mo as we drive by the Bear Mountain sign like my friend Mike did for the snowboarding video. That was really cool, it just, it was so awesome. Just beyond awesome. So of course at the ski resorts, guys, you're gonna get a little more snow because of the elevation difference. And it's right on the mountain, so that definitely helps. Or right on the edge of the mountain, so. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Hang on. All right, so we did that. There's a lot of people, there's not a lot of people here. It looks packed, it is packed, but if you look at the slopes, guys, if you zoom in, there's not that many people. So it's not gonna be as rough of an experience for you guys as it usually is. Just please enjoy yourselves, guys. Be as safe as you can. I know, you know, when I grew up wearing helmets and stuff like that, you were such a tool and just so ridiculous and everyone made fun of you. But nowadays, because kids are not as tough as they used to be, I like seeing everyone wearing 
helmets and pads and stuff because your safety is much more important than anything. It's paramount up here. So, um, yeah, I'm, you know, that's the only good thing about, um, seeing kids just so just wimpy these days is, uh, is that they're taking care of themselves better. They aren't taking as many risks. Obviously in a lot of cases you can't have as much fun when you're not taking as many risks, but that does not apply to wearing helmets. You know, I have a lot of fun on my motorcycle. I wear a helmet and I wear a full face helmet too. I have a Harley and most Harley people just like to wear just that like top hat type of a thing. Um, I have a full face helmet because 80% of the accidents on a motorcycle, when you fall off, you hit your chin first, 80% of the time. And so just to look cool, uh, just makes no sense to me, especially nowadays. So please guys take safety as your first priority when you come up here, um, because you don't want those ambulances coming for you. Obviously still have fun though. Take risks out there. Go off the jumps. Learn how to do these things. Just have fun. Here's the golf course again. And in the next hopefully week or so when the zoo is dead I'm going to try to do a video of the zoo I'm going to take the wife and we're gonna hopefully do a whole zoo video for you guys I think you guys would love that anyway we are about finished with this video just wanted to show you guys the uh, main parts of town that you guys are used to seeing and driving through and staying and in enjoying what you do up here. We didn't hit Big Bear City really because most of you don't really stay in Big Bear City. You guys come up here and do the whole Big Bear Lake thing and the resort thing. So I want you guys to see what the snow's like at these, these resorts. As you saw at Bear Mountain, you guys, plenty of snow. You guys will have a great time. The snowmakers, once again, they do a terrific job to make sure everyone has a wonderful time up here. So just come up all of you come enjoy yourselves bring the whole family bring the pets pretty much all of these resorts seem like or the hotels seem like they're pet friendly so just come up here have a great time you guys and in the meantime uh thank you guys for everything again i appreciate all the support you guys have given me over the past eight years i've never missed one storm yet and i'm not planning on ever missing any storms um, if you guys really enjoy what i do pardon me, please hit the like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for cruising with me. Peace out, you guys. It's February 10th, 2023. 57 degrees, guys. 57 degrees. Peace out, you all.